Hello everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. In this video I am going to present to you a not so common penal problem. Several names exist for it. In this video I will call it soft glands syndrome, but some say cold glands syndrome or glands insufficiency syndrome. It is a special form of erectile dysfunction with the corpora cavernosa working well, but not so the corpus spongiosum. Let's have a look at the anatomy. The rigidity of the erection is defined by the two corpora cavernosa. They are mainly responsible for the erection. But there is a third erectile element, the corpus spongiosum. The urethra runs through it and it ends at the tip of the penis with the glands. Usually also the corpus spongiosum fills with blood during erections and the glands gets hard. In soft gland syndrome this is not the case. The glands doesn't erect and stay soft. One might think that this is not a particular problem as the penis still erects. But in fact it is. Because it causes problems during intercourse because the penis is not stable anymore. The reason is that a rigid object also needs a rigid top for penetration. And this is exactly what the patients report who suffer from this condition. Intercourse becomes unstable. Penetration is difficult. The reasons for soft gland syndrome are typically linked to Peyronie's disease, but it is also found after urethral reconstruction procedures resulting in nerve damage. Generally, atherosclerosis and trauma to the perineum might also cause this condition and medical interventions for priapism, which is a permanent pathological erection, may also leave the corpus spongiosum damaged, resulting in soft gland syndrome. After a penile prosthesis insertion, Soft gland syndrome is seen quite frequently. Treatment of this condition is challenging and often frustrating because it frequently remains unsuccessful and involves mechanical and medical aids. Many of my patients expect to be presented with a non-invasive treatment that involves neither medication nor mechanical devices but restores erections to how it was before. This art of healing bears a special name, magic and is not performed by urologists but by magicians. When it comes to surgery, closure of artificial shunts after trauma to the perineum might offer a chance to get rid of the problem. Otherwise, mechanical devices may be tried, which is penile constriction rings and vacuum pumps. Vacuum pumps suck blood, mostly venous blood, into the organ. A constriction ring helps to keep it there. Maybe the best way to get the glands to fill with blood is on-site delivery of medication. I already demonstrated the mode of action of prostaglandins in one of my recent videos. Prostaglandins may also be used to get the corpus spongiosum to erect. It has to be tried individually, what works and what doesn't. A couple years ago a gel was introduced which is marketed by the name of Vitaros here in Germany. By the way, I'm not getting paid or any benefits from that company to say that. The gel is dripped into the urethral opening and will be absorbed from the urethra, including absorption by the corpus spongiosum. A more invasive but similar method is called MUSE, which is short for a medicated urethral system for erection. It consists of a small pipette that is introduced into the urethra. When pushing a button on top, a tiny suppository will be released. It contains alprostadil that will be absorbed by the corpora, at first by the corpus spongiosum. Due to the pandemic, there has been a shortage of the medication in Europe for almost two years now, so it hasn't been available in my country for quite a while. In the literature, I found a very small pilot study with promising results. They tested in five patients whether it was feasible to inject a small amount of trimix directly into the glands. In fact, they were able to show significant improvement in all patients. More research is needed into this area and especially with auto-injection directly into the glands, which might not be the treatment option for everybody regarding the thought of putting needles into one of the most sensitive areas of the body. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.